Hey guys, Joe Kasimi here with the Incompressed blog and in this video I'm going to show you how to use this real sweet little tool that I've been using lately called the Unique Article Wizard. Now I started using this uh, this article wizard or this tool recently and I'm totally loving it. Now I know there's like a ton of article submission softwares out there and I've used a lot of them but trust me this one uh, it beats them all out and, I'll, and you'll see why here in a little bit. Now this article uh, wizard here allows me to distribute my articles to mass article directories out there on the internet it does it all for me and it also allows me to go ahead and put various versions of my articles in here in the wizard and what it does is that it mix and matches all, all the articles there and submits them out there to the articles so you literally have like hundreds and hundreds of different versions of your articles and also it'll give giving you back like hundreds if not thousands of backlinks and SEO juice straight to your to your websites okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick how I'm using it and and so you could go ahead and use it if you want as well now this is a paid monthly service guys just want to let you know off the bat in case you want to know and jump on, jump in on this but for what it does is is totally worth it guys trust me it's totally worth it all right, so anyways, let's go ahead and begin and, and, and show you how to use this, baby. Now, there's a lot of bells and whistles to this, guys, and I haven't gone through all of them yet, okay? I will, though, and I'll be, you know, submitting more tutorials on them. But for now, let's just do it the easy way, which is right here. I go to Submit Articles and then click on Step-by-Step uh, -step Wizard. This is the easiest way for me to show you and the easiest way that I find to do it and submit all these, these articles. Now, it's going to take you to this page here. And right down here, obviously, you're just going to name it your project name. So I'm just going to put play in dominoes. This is just for your reference. Uh, right down here, you're going to type in a um, an author name. I'm going to use my pen name for this one, Joey Woods. And right down here, you could actually put more uh, authors or pen names there if you want. Because remember, it's going to be submitted to a lot of article directories. But I'm just going to stick with that one. The title, uh, right here you want to make sure that it's really keyword rich. I'm targeting how to play dominoes. That's the keyword that I'm targeting. And right down here is where you simply paste your article that you want submitted. Now in another video I showed you how to spin all these articles using the content professor and you can find that in my blog. If you're on my YouTube just go to my channel and, and find the, the how to spin an article but anyways I already got one spun here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy that and paste it to this uh, this area here okay so this is the article that's going to be submitted now I want to show you something really cool here I'm gonna click on next here now right here this is what I was talking about that uh, it, this software or this wizard allows you to to insert various uh, articles and uh, and titles so it could just mix and match them and distribute it so right here I'm gonna uh, put some other titles that I want to go ahead and target some other keywords uh, play dummy domino okay so I want to target that domino without the E another one is playing dominoes sorry about that guys I'm going too fast here Okay, so those are the three that I'm, I'm targeting. Now, you could put more here. So if you're targeting more keywords, it's always a good idea to go ahead and put them in the title first. That way, you know, it gives you some really good SEO stuff. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to stick with those three for now. Then you're going to click down here and click on Write and Edit First Paragraph. Now, it's going to take you to the next step, to step two, and then right down here, just scroll down. And this is where you actually take and copy and paste different variations of your article. It's actually going to take you step by step through each paragraph, and you could insert and paste different versions of it. And like I said before, what it's going to do is when it distributes your article to all these different article directories, it's just going to mix and match them and actually do its own version of spinning. But it's going to be doing sort of like a paragraph spinning, if you will. I think I just invented that word. Anyways, I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to spin the article again. And I'm going to take the another version of the first paragraph and just go here and paste it on the second one. Okay, go do it again for the third paragraph. And I'm going to go up here and just copy that again. Copy and paste. That's it, guys. Copy and paste. I mean, how simple can that be, right? 
So then you just go ahead and scroll down here and click on next paragraph when you're done with all that. And it's gonna take you to paragraph number two and you just basically do the same thing. You just spin the, uh, the article again to get a second or, or another version of that uh, particular paragraph and you do the same thing here. Now I have nine paragraphs in total so I'm gonna go ahead and move on forward real quick. So I won't be here for like ever just showing you and then I'll take you to the next step, all right? Okay, so we're back here again and I just finished uh, inserting all the different variations of the Sprint articles and the different paragraphs. So when you're done with that, just go down here and click on next. and It'll take you to step three, which is actually creating your resource file um, and also known as the author, author bio section. So we're going to scroll down here and it's got this cool little widget that actually helps you uh, build your anchor text and your anchor links. So I'm going to be using some of my anchor sites or indirect sites that I talk about in the wagon wheel effect video and I'm going to use this one from uh, Amazines or Am Amazins. I always get tangled up with that. Anyways, I'm going to put it right there. The anchor text is always going to be your keyword that you're targeting. So how to play dominoes. Going to build that, and this is actually your anchor text. So if you're not, you know, uh, HTML savvy or anything like that, this this wee little widget will actually help you do that. So right here in your bio box or your resource box, you're going to put something like, if you want to learn more about how to play dominoes, go to HTTP. You make sure you want to put those HTTP things there, guys. That way, don't make it clickable. Uh, go to dominosinfo.com. That's it. Now, right down here, this is a cool little thing uh, that also this wizard, I'm loving about this wizard, is that you could actually change your keywords that you're targeting. So when it submits it, it's just going to choose from all those different ones. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. That's the word that I want changed. And this is the new one that I want to uh, put in here. So in other words, it'll be like, if you want to learn more about um, playing dominoes, okay, go to blah, blah, blah. So you replace it, click on that, and it'll give you a different versions right here. So it's gonna pick between both of those. I actually like to go with like four, five, or six different ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and write a different one here and um, and, and to go ahead and uh, give it a little bit of, of a write. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and save and, re and uh, and it'll save it down here in this little uh, box here. And this is actually where it's gonna pull from. It's gonna take all these different variations and, and place them out there in the different article directories. So once you're done there, just go ahead and click on the next step. And right here, you're gonna add your categories and keywords. And this is where you're actually going to place all of your, uh, your keyword rich keywords and categories and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here, placing my keywords, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Once you're done choosing some of these keywords down here, then you're gonna go down here and click uh, or choose which category best, best fits your the niche that you're targeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a few of them here. All right, so when you're done choosing the categories that best fits your niche, then you're just gonna go here, click on this button here that says check, and it's going to estimate the amount of of article directories that it's going to submit to. Now this is just a rough estimate, it's not the exact, but as you can see here for this niche that I'm targeting, it's going out to 428 directories, so it's pretty good. Uh, depending on the niche that you're going after, it may be up in the thousands uh, or, or less, than, uh, less than the 400 that you see there. But either way, they're really good uh, article directories, so I'm pretty happy with the results that I've been getting. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and click on Next. And right here, you're going to basically just confirm everything that you have. You actually get to see all the different versions of your articles, your resource files right here. Just click on them, check it out. Um, and if you don't like any of them, just change it, you know? Just make sure that it's, it's good and it's a good version of your articles. Okay, so that's all your articles right there, the full thing. And what it's going to do is actually mix and match all these different articles, all these three of these articles, and just submit them out there to all the different article directories, okay? 
right there there's all the resources that it's going to pull from and then right here all, all, it, it's exactly how it's going to look see if you want to learn more about blah 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 go here go here go here okay so and that's pretty much it these are your keywords these are your categories again if you want to change them you could go ahead and change anything here if you want you could do a, a real quick check to see how many articles it's going to submit to it's still at 428 so i'm pretty happy with that right here it says if you would like to have this article submit to your own plugin this is if you have the the unique article wizard plugin installed in your website uh, which is going to create or post articles automatically for you this is so you could post it on there i don't have it on my article so i'm just going to put no um right here when would you like uh, this article posted i want it as soon as possible they usually do it the next day so i'm going to go ahead and do it the next day here now this is very important guys the submissions okay per day now hear me out on this because this is very 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 important okay now you can use this article wizard in two different ways one to direct link back to your very own niche site the main niche site the mother site okay the money making site all right and the second way is to to link directly into your anchor sites the sites like uh, the articles that you posted on ezine articles squidoos go articles and places like that all right now if you're going to be linking back to your main niche site, you don't want this to go and submit articles like crazy per day. You actually want to do anywhere from 10 to maybe even 20 per day. I do not do any more than 20 per day. Okay. And that's all depending on how many of these articles are going out. All right. There's like a thousand articles that or the article directories that it's going to be submitted to. I definitely going to do like maybe 10 per day okay now if you're going to be direct linking to your anchor sites which is your amazons your your go articles ezine articles squidoos places like that then you could go ahead and, and go berserk with this all right then i actually like to go ahead and do like a hundred or more and also it all depends on the amount of article directory see right here there's only 428 so i think i'm just going to stick with like maybe 70 per day on this one if there's over a thousand then go ahead and do like 100 200 per day you definitely don't want to do more than 200 I don't, I highly don't recommend that. Okay, you, again, you want this to look as natural as possible. All right. So once you're done with that, you basically just click on submit here. Okay. And uh, it's going to submit your articles. Well, this is going to submit it the next day. Right here, you see pending. You could actually abort it if there's something you don't like about it. Let me go ahead and uh, choose another article here that I've already have posted so you can see what's going on. This is one that I posted the other day, and I want to show you some of the uh, articles that are already submitted to. I mean, this this unique article is, is really powerful. December 12th is when it started posting articles out there in the article directories, and I've got this set, I think, at 20 per day, I think it is. All right, and you can see here all the different article directories. Uh, December 11th. Actually, I didn't start on the 12th. Sorry, this is goes the other way around I actually started this let me check on December 10th this is when I actually started uh, submitting articles uh, using this software and I'm pretty happy about it I'm pretty happy with the results as you can see all these different sites is going to and it's just creating backlinks straight to my thing uh, it's creating it's giving me really good SEO juice and I'm pretty happy with this so you know that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed it. i hope you learned a lot from it this is a very powerful tool guys and uh if you want to check it out uh, you could go ahead and go to www.incompress.com forward slash uaw uh, which stands for unique article wizard it is an affiliate link guys just to let you know i'm being totally straight up and totally be totally transparent with you on this i will get a commission and if you get it through my link Man, I, I will totally love you for it till the end of days, okay? I really do appreciate it. Um, but, uh, you know, again, this is how I do it. This is how I plan on doing all of my submissions. And, uh, you know, it's working, so I'm loving it. It's worth every single penny. With that said, Joey Kasemi, peace. I love you for free, and I will see you on the next video tutorial. Peace.